Nataka kwenda directly kwa neno Nataka kwenda directly kwa neno 
Uh, our heading today is about realizing God's heritage promises. Realizing God's heritage promises. Kubadilisha mambo ingine kwa kiswahili si raisi. Lakini nilijaribu kuweka hivi. Kuhisi mipango ya urithi kutoka kwa mungu. Ama kuhisi ahadi za mungu. A, 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 ahadi ya urithi kutoka kwa mungu. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. And I would want to begin by saying, God does not call people without having a heritage for them. Wakati mungu anaitana, aiti watu akiwapeleka nowhere, aiti watu bila kusudi, aiti watu bila kuwa na matayarisho kwa ajili yao. Anaita watu na wakati anawaita anawaita kwa sababu kuna mahali anawapeleka na hakuna vile Mungu anaweza kupeleka watu mahali pabaya wakati Mungu anapeleka watu mahali anawapeleka mahali pazuri anawapeleka mahali penye kupendeza anawapeleka mahali penye kutamanika amen Ninazungumzia juu ya heritage kwa sababu ni sehemu ya theme yetu ya mwaka huu. Ukiangalia hiyo nyekundu inasema to enjoy our heavenly heritage. Kuna mipango ya urithi ambayo Mungu wako naye kwa ajili yetu na mipango hizo ni nzuri yenye kupendeza na yenye kuvutia. Bwana asifiwe. <coughs> Ata Abraham alipoitwa na Mungu aliambiwa atoke kwa watu wao eh apelekwe kwa inchi inayotiririka maziwa na nini maziwa na asali a land flowing with milk and honey that term a land flowing with milk and honey it is a term that simply meant that the land where God is taking them is a wonderful land. It is a good place. God was not just playing with words. He was not just playing with words. He meant it. Ondoka kwa watu wako. Nitakupeleka kwa inchi inayotiririka maziwa na asali. Inchi nzuri Inchi ya kupendeza Na sehemu nyingine katika Biblia We find the Lord talking about that Akijaribu kuonyesha tofauti ya inchi ambaye amepeleka watu wake na misri Mahali ambapo walipo toka So basically as a beginning I want to say that when God is calling us is calling us to take us to a wonderful place is calling us so that we, he may take us to, to a, a place where we will have wonderful experience mahali pazuri mahali pa kuvutia mahali pa kupendeza bwana yesu asifiwe lakini mpaka tujue Ya kwamba God's call requires obedience And it can involve a lot of challenges <coughs> Yani kwa sababu mungu wamekuita Siku sema ya kwamba changamoto haitakuwa Na mungu wakikuita anatarajia ukubali Anatarajia utii Kwa sababu nae usipotii itakuwa ngumu akufikisha mahali pale ambapo anakupeleka Abraham alitoka kwao akaacha watu wao anaenda mahali hata ajui ni wapi lakini ameambiwa ni mahali panapotiririka maziwa na asali na Biblia inasema aliti amen na aka, aka, akaenda tu kama vile alivyokuwa kiongozwa na Mungu Alienda tu kama vile alivyokuwa kiongozwa na Mungu. So God call, God's call requires obedience. 
anybody who wants to realize God's promises of heritage must be ready to obey, to obey God, to listen to his word, to follow his instruction, huh? to undertake God's commandment. Kwa sababu kama usipofanya hivyo, basi itakuwa ngumu kwa kowewe kufika pale katika hiyo uridhi ambaye Mungu anaandaa Bwana Yesu asifiwe <coughs> Abraham's faith was tested to the limit but he overcame and he was able to realize God's heritage promise eh? alijaribiwa imani yake ilijaribiwa now in the principle what wa Mungu in principle, we must understand that our faith will be tested. Iman hiyo ukonae kwa Yesu mpaka itajaribiwa. Na ijaribiwi kimchezo mchezo wapana, inajaribiwa in a tough way. Some of it is so hard and so tough. Na tunapata mtu kama Abraham. Upungufu wake ilikuwa ni anataka mtoto Anataka mtoto kijana Na amefikisha miaka karibu mia Na mtoto haonekani <coughs> Na anatumikia mungu alie umba mbingu na inchi Alie umba wanadam Na kulikuwa tu na test Kulikuwa tu na test Na wewe pia mpaka tukuambie Mpaka test itakuwapo Amen Ambia jirani mpaka test itakuwako <coughs> When God calls you You'll be tested Utajaribiwa Ile kujaribiwa Aina ya mtiani You'll be tested You cannot go through without testing Hakuna kitu kama hiyo Ati utapita bila kuwa tested Hakuna Mbaka utatestiwa Aposto pita anasema Ili genuineness ya imani yako ijulikane Ukweli ya imani yako Uhalisi wa imani yako ijulikane Is your faith genuine? Imani yako ni halisi Ni ya kweli Ama ni ya bandia Kwa sababu mahali watu wako wengi Uwezi kosa watu ambaye wako na imani lakini imani bandia Kwa sababu wakijaribi wakidogo tu Hawawezi kustaimili Wanaachilia Wanaanza kunungunika Wanaanza kukomplain Wanaanza kupiga kelele Wanaanza hata kusema vile watarudi misri Vile watarudi nyuma eh? God calls and it requires obedience And there will always be testing Praise the Lord There will always be testing <coughs> The Bible has numerous heritage promises For God's redeemed people Watu ambaye mungu wamewakomboa Utapata ya kwamba kuna ahadi baada ya ahadi baada ya ahadi baada ya ahadi Kuhusu urithi huo ambaye mungu anatupangia You read the Bible and you will always meet those promises And there are many Ata maubiri ya siku kama leo Haiwezi kukava promises hizo Kwa sababu you see them through the Bible As you go through the Bible you see them and that's why I'm using the word numerous Numerous Leo tunatazama tu some of them But they are numerous Praise the Lord God's heritage promises for us Are unmatched by anything in this world Urithi ambaye mungu ametupangia Haiwezi kulinganishwa na chochote ambayo Ina tumeona ama tumefahamu ama tumehisi katika ulimwengu I'm telling you where God is taking you Where God is taking you After calling you 
He is taking you to a place that cannot be matched by anything in this world. Praise the Lord. Anakupeleka mahali ambaye haiwezi kulinganishwa na chochote hapa duniani. Praise the Lord. Unasema pastor hiyo ni kweli, ni kweli. Praise the Lord. Na ili ni kuonyeshe ni kweli wacha tuwekewe kwenye ubao. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Look at that. Look at this statement. Look at this statement. However, it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. Praise the Lord. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. And no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. Kwa hivyo kama kuna kitu umesha aona, haifanani na hiyo mungu wa mepanga. Kama kuna kitu umesha sikia, haifanani na hiyo kitu mungu wa mepanga. Kama kuna kitu umewaza, haifanani na hiyo mungu wa mepanga. I'm telling you what God has planned for us. Is unmatched. Eh? Haiwezi kulinganishwa. <coughs> Haiwezi kulinganishwa. Atisijui nini, atisijui nini, atisijui nini, atisijui nini. Unajua kuna mataifa unaweza kuenda uone vitu mpaka ushangae. Uone mijengu. Uone barabara za ajabu. Uone landscape vile metengerezwa. <coughs> Uone <coughs> Mimi sijaenda America But maybe one of these days Nitaenda <laughs> Whichever other place <laughs> The Lord as, as we say in the Bible Nothing is impossible with God Amen <laughs> But as if you were. But I know some of you have gone there Hata kama ulienda wapi Ndugu yangu Hata kama ulienda wapi Yale mambo uliona uko Haiwezi kulinganishwa na mambo ambaye mungu anatarishia watu wake Amen This is a very powerful statement No eye has seen No ear has heard And no mind has conceived The things that God has prepared for his people Amen Amen <clears throat> Let's also look at Romans chapter 8 verse 18 Romans chapter 8 verse 18 This is Paul, this is Apostle Paul writing And he's saying, I consider that our present suffering Are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us I consider that the present sufferings Dunia imeja changamoto Dunia imeja mambo ya kusumbua, masumbufu Na si wewe peke yako unapitia Mana Biblia inasema no temptation has come to you that is not common to man so, ayo unapitia, wengine unapitia, na wengine hata wanapitia ma, mazito zaidi. <clears throat> Lakini hata hizo, ya neosamekana ni mazito, they cannot be compared with the glory that will be revealed. Amen. Haiwezi kulinganishwa, kilio yako ni kukosa mtoto, kilio yako ni kukosa mume, Kilio yako ni kukosa mke Kilio yako ni kukosa, kukosa kazi Kilio yako ni kwamba ukona jambo ina kusumbua katika mwili Kilio yako inaeza kuwa ya rangi ambaye hatujui Lakini mandiko inasema Even that thing that is troubling you cannot be compared with the glory that will be that will be revealed amen, amen. 
haiwezi kulinganishwa na utukufu utakayofunuliwa and the bible is saying reveal in us itakayofunuliwa ndani yetu amen unajua hiyo inastahili kukutia moyo inastahili kukutia moyo na inastahili ku, ku, kupatia subira yako nguvu Yeah, I am passing through this thing yeah, but it cannot be compared with the glory that will be revealed. This thing is so hard in my life. It is so tough in my life, but it cannot be compared with the glory that will be revealed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And there are other scriptures. Nimetaja hizo mbili. Nimetaja tu hizo mbili kukuonyesha kupitia kwa maandiko ya kwamba ile mpango ya urithi ambaye Mungu anatupangia ni makubwa sana haiwezi kulinganishwa na chochote ambaye tunapitia hapa duniani Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe na nikasema ahadi hizo za urithi ziko kwa wingi katika Biblia. Ila kwa leo, kwa leo nataka tu tuangalie sehemu moja ya Biblia ambaye inatoka kwa kitabu cha Ufunuo. Na kitabu cha unuo, Kufunuo kuna yale tunaita the letters to the seven churches. In those letters we see promises of the heritage that God is preparing for us Bwana Yesu asifiwe In the letters to the seven churches in the book of Revelation we see details of God's heritage promises we see details sasa hii inakuja inatupatia some sort of detail inatupatia some sort of detail Bwana Yesu asifiwe <coughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen. Wacha tuanze na ya kwanza kitabu cha ufunuo mlango wa pili na mstari wa saba <coughs> eh, Revelation chapter 2 verse 7 It is talking about this heri, heri, promised heritage He who has an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying to the churches to him who overcomes I will give the right to eat from the tree of life which is in the paradise of God Eh Wapo kuna masikio makanisani kama nyinyi mlivyo hapa kanisani leo na mko na masikio mnaambiwa sikizeni kile ambaye roho wa Mungu anasema kama wewe utashinda na hiyo kushinda lazima tuweke tu underline hapo lazima tu underline lazima tujue ya kwamba kumbe tukitaka kufikia urithi hii kuna changamoto ambazo mpaka tuzishinde. Hauendi tu nywa. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There will be hindrances. There will be challenges. There will be watu, mapepo, whatever. <laughs> Ambaye wako tu determined wa kuzuia usifike wako tu determined wasikuzuie wasikuzuie wa kuzuia usifike Bwana Yesu asifiwe Lakini Biblia inasema kama utafaulu Na hiyo ndio kwa sababu tulitumia hii neno vigilance ati tukae macho ati tukitaka tufike kwa hiyo urithi mpaka tukae macho kwa sababu changamoto ya Amen <coughs> Praise the Lord wale wanaoshinda nitawapa haki ya kula matunda ya mti wa uzima ulioko ndani ya bustani ya wapi ya Mungu 
Amen. Let me ask you, what do you think is going to happen to you when you eat of that fruit? Eh? Ati kuna mtu wa uzima. Katika bustani wa mungu. Eh? Kuna mti wa uzima. Na hiyo mti kuna matunda. Bana sifiwe. When you are some of these things, you read them in the Bible and you try to think about them. And even thinking about them, you find that the depth that is there is at a way you cannot comprehend. There is a tree of life. Katika bustani ya mungu. Paradise. Kuna mti wa uzima. Now something happens to anybody who eats of the tree of, of the fruit of that tree. Kuna kitu kinafanyika. Unafikiria ni nini kinafanyika? Hata mimi siwezi kukueleza yote yale anafanyika. Kile ninajua tu ni wewe ukifika na ukule hiyo tunda. <laughs> Maisha yako haitabaki vile ilikuwa tena. Eh? Maisha yako haitabaki vile ilikuwa tena. Haibaki kwa sababu umekula tunda kutoka kwa mti wa uzima. Adamu na hawa walikula kutoka kwa mti ya kujua mema na mabaya. Too bad for them. Too bad for them. Alafu waliacha hiyo ya mti ya, ya mti ya uzima. Lakini sasa Mungu anasema watakaoshinda watakula matunda kutoka kwa mti wa uzima ulio katika bustani ya nani ya Mungu <coughs> This is what we can say this is a part of the detail Wakati ile Biblia ilikuwa inasema ya kwamba no ear has heard and no eye has seen and no mind has conceived it was referring to things like this that there is a tree in the garden of God which is called the tree of life which has got fruit and that whoever overcomes is going to eat of the fruit of that garden and if you eat of it you will not be the same again hallelujah Bwana Yesu asifiwe Revelation chapter 2 verse 11 Revelation chapter 2 verse 11 Aliye na masikio basi na asikie yale ambaye roho anawaambia makanisa wale wanaoshinda hawataumizwa na kifo cha pili they will not be hurt by the second death. Unajua sasa Bible imeleta what what we may call is it a uh, is, is is a word that you are really wondering. It is on introducing something that you normally don't think about. Because wewe kila mara unafikiria juu ya kifo ya kawaida. Na unafikiria juu ya kifo ya kwanza. Sasa hapa Biblia inasema kumbe kuna kifo ya pili, kumbe kuna kifo ya pili. <coughs> when the Bible says God so loved the world that he sent his own begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. The word perish ni kuangamia. Na hiyo kuangamia Ukifikiria vizuri inatokana na kuangamia kupitia kifo cha pili sio kifo ya kwanza maana hiyo kifo ya kwanza kila mtu anaweza kupitia unaweza kupitia si watu wote watapitia hiyo kifo ya kwanza kwa sababu Biblia inasema wakati Yesu atarudi wale wako hai watabadilika manake si lazima ati watakufa watabadilika Kufumba na kufumbua jicho So It is appointed for men to die But the Bible tells us When Jesus comes There will be people who are living And there are people who are dead 
na tunaambiwa hatutatangulia waliokufa watafufuka kwanza lakini sisi tulio hai tutabadilishwa kufumba na kufumbua jicho Bwana Yesu asifiwe watakao shinda hawataumizwa na kifo cha kifo cha pili ambia jirani kuna kifo cha pili eh kuna wale wanateseka dunia hii mpaka wanajiondoa maisha yao na wanajiambia wakiondoa maisha yao wameenda kupumzika wameachana na ulimwengu na shida yake So they say they have gone to rest but tell those people that death is not only one there is a second one Kuna kifo cha eh Lakini wale walioshinda wale walioitwa na Bwana wale waliokuwa watiifu wale wali, wali, walikuwa tayari kumfuata Mungu mpaka mwisho tunaambiwa hawataumizwa na kifo cha pili hawataumizwa na kifo cha pili there is a second death but those who overcome will not be hurt by the second death and this is part of the so called heritage that god is calling us to enjoy bwana yesu asifiwe heritage ambaye mungu anatuita tufurahie Revelation chapter 2 verse 17 Revelation chapter 2 verse 17 Aliye na masikio basi nasikia yale roho anaambia makanisa wale wanaoshinda nitawapa ile mana iliyofichwa iliyofichika nitawapa pia jiwe jeupe Lililoandikwa jina jipya ambalo hakuna mtu aliyejua isipokuwa tu wale wanaolipokea <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe Praise the Lord Hata hii kwanza in, ina hii iko na fumbo mpaka inakupatia uanze kufikirie sana Eh ati wale wanaoshinda Eh watapewa mana iliyofichika watapewa mana iliyofichika hidden mana they will be given hidden mana halafu sasa tunabaki hapo tukijiuliza hii mana ni nini na hii mana iliyofichika ni nini na kwa nini watapewa hii mana iliyofichika na wakipewa hii maana iliyofichika nini itafanyika kwao Bwana Yesu asifiwe Sisi tunaweza ku, kujaribu ku, ku, we, we can try to probe we can just try to probe but we may not know the full depth Kwa sababu maana ni chakula ambaye ilikuwa inatoka kwa Mungu mwenyewe It is God who gave maana na watu walikuwa wanaamka tu na kuchota na ilikuwa jangwani ilikuwa chakula ya kustastain watu wa Mungu waendelee katika safari <coughs> we can use the word it was divine provided food and it was provided to sustain those people so kuna kuna chakula ya aina fulani ambaye ukishinda utapewa na hiyo chakula unajua hata tukisema mtu anaishi milele na milele na milele na milele na milele ni kitu gani na sustain hiyo mtu aishi milele na milele na milele na milele possibly kukula hiyo tunda ya kutoka kwa mti ya uzima also kukula hiyo mana iliyofichika kwa sababu hiyo maana ndio ili sustain watu kule jangwani. So when you overcome you will be given that hidden mana. Amen. Alafu utapewa jiwe jeupe. 
Ililoandikwa jina jipya ambaye hakuna mtu mwingine anaejua isipokuwa tu wewe ambaye umelipokea Bwana Yesu asifiwe Unajua sisi wote tuna majina na tuko na majina na tuko na matitles Watu wanakujua kama fulani Eh na uko na title Eh kuna bishop sijui kuna archbishop sijui kuna nini lakini mpaka tujue ya kwamba kuna majina mengine tunaweza kuwa naye ambayo kulingana na Mungu tumepewa lakini yeye hayuko huko. Eh? Unajua Mungu ako na vile Mungu ako na vile ako na jina kwa kila mtu. <laughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <laughs> Mungu ako ako vile ako na jina kwa kila mtu. Eh, kwa sababu majina zingine zile tuko nazo <laughs> hata Mungu hata, hata wewe ukifika kule ukisema unataka utumie hiyo utaambiwa eh gotinge hoteka Haiwezekani <laughs> you cannot use that name here Uwezi kutumia hiyo jina Ati wewe unaitwa Madhena na unataka <laughs> Unataka uende mpaka mbinguni na hiyo jina yako ya madhena. Na unataka Mungu akubali hiyo jina huko madhena. Hata kubali. So he has a name for everyone. Unajua Yesu alipoita wanafunzi wake kuna wale aliwapa majina. Kama Petro akaitwa hiyo jina Cephas ambaye inamaanisha mwamba. Why did Jesus call him that name? Tunaona Sauli baada yake aliitwa Paul. Why was his name changed? Abraham, akwa Abraham Beleni, ilikuwa tu a very short name, Abraham. Abraham akukua na hiyo ham. <laughs> but God changed their name. So God has a name for us. He has a name for everyone. And especially wale wataka ushinda maana inasemekana hii white stone nyakati katika hizo nchi ulimwengu wa zamani kama ulikuwa na invitiwa mahali njia mmoja ya kusema umekubalika hapa ni kupewa jiwe jeupe you are given a white stone to indicate that you are given permission ya kuingia kwa sherehe ama kuingia kwa mkutano <coughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So when you are being given a white stone, it could simply mean you have been accepted into the heavenly heritage. Amen. Amen. Umekubalika. Lakini hiyo 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 jiwe iko na jina lako. Ambalo hakuna mtu mwingine anayejua. Wewe tu ambaye umeingia naye ndio unaona iko ha? Iko hapo. Na Mungu ndiye anajua kwa sababu kulingana na yeye wewe hiyo jina ndiye inakutosha. Amen. 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 Hiyo jina umeandikiwa kwa hiyo jiwe ndiyo imekutosha. Imekutosha. Sijui tukifika alafu sijui sasa itakuwaje maana ni yule tu ambaye amepewa ndiye anajua. <laughs> Odho kuna watu wako very curious wewe mbabu yako imeandikwa. <laughs> kuna watu watashinda wakenda kuulia hebu nione hiyo jiwe yako jeupe. Na umeandikiwa jina gani? <laughs> ah, bana sifiwe. So I don't know how it's going to happen because now we are being told only the one who is given the stone will know the name. The others may not know the name. <coughs> Maybe ukionyesha Oliver, Oliver kijaribu kusoma hata isomeki. Kwa mbona sioni yako? <laughs> mbona sioni yako? <laughs> bana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wale wanaoshinda watapewa maana iliyofichika. Nitawapa pia jeu, jiwe jeupe iliyoandikwa jina jipya ambaye hakuna mtu aliyejua 
isipokuwa tu wale wanaopokea Bwana Yesu asifiwe <coughs> Bwana Yesu asifiwe <coughs> Unajua ninaangalia saa leo imewekwa pande hii. <laughs> And I'm realizing that I'm I'm, I'm time bad already. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm realizing I'm time bad. Let me push kidogo. Let me push kidogo. Tumetoka Revelation 2:17. Let us go to Revelation 2:26. Uh, ufunuo <coughs> Mlango wa pili na mstari wa 29. Wanao shinda na wale watakaozingatia mpaka mwisho kutenda ninayotaka nitawapa mamlaka juu ya matai juu ya mataifa. Wanao shinda na wale watakaozingatia mpaka mwisho kutenda ninayotaka Nitawapa mamlaka juu ya mataifa I will give them authority over the nations eh? So katika hii mwito ya uridhi ambaye Mungu anatupangia anatupangia hata somehow mambo ya utawala mambo ya utawala na hii utawala hata isemekani tu at ni taifa moja inasemekana nations mataifa I will give them authority over the nations So the calling that we have the heritage that God has for us involves having authority over nations How will that be? I don't know. I don't know. But it is telling us we will be given authority over Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua kuna watu hapa ambaye hata ukiulizwa huyu mtu anaweza kuongoza wewe utasema tu kwa haraka eh huyu hawezi. Bwana asifiwe. Kulingana na wewe hawezi. Kulingana na Mungu akishinda atapewa mamlaka juu ya matai juu ya mataifa. This is another puzzle. This is another puzzle. Because all that we are seeing we should not just see with our human eyes. We must know that there is a way God sees things. Amen. And when he's calling us he's calling us and part of what is calling us is that we can have authority over the nations praise the lord praise the lord revelation 3:5 revelation 3:5 wale wanaoshinda Watavikwa mavazi meupe kama hao nami sitayafuta majina yao kutoka katika kitabu cha uzima tena nitawakiri kwamba ni wangu mbele ya baba yangu na mbele ya malaika wake Bwana Yesu asifiwe Watavis watavikwa mavazi meupe Watavikwa mavazi meupe. Amen. Hii mavazi meupe ni tofauti na ile ambayo tunaona. Kwa sababu hata tunapofikiria mavazi when it comes to spiritual matters it goes beyond just normal clothing. It simply means that there, there is something that God will put over you. There will something that God will put over you to cover you. We know that the term white stands for righteousness, stands for holiness, stands for right relationship with God. So those who overcome, there is that clothing. 
ambaye utavishwa ambaye inasemekana ni vazi meupe na jina yako haitaondolewa kwa kitabu cha uzi la uzima tena Yesu anasema nitakiri kwamba wewe ni wangu mbele ya baba yangu na mbele ya malaika zake amen what a privilege eh fursa nzuri fursa ambayo Yesu ana yes, yani Yesu anaenda anasema mbele ya baba baba huyu ni wangu amen baba huyu ni wa eh kwa sababu kuna wengine alisema ondokeni mimi siwajui ondokeni i've never known you tulifukuza pepo kwa jina lako ondokeni mimi sikuwajua tulifanya haya na haya ondokeni mimi siwajui lakini kula wale ataenda aseme baba huyu ni wa eh na atasema hiyo mbele ya baba na mbele ya malaika what a privilege What a wonderful privilege that you can be acknowledged before the Father and before the angels. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Revelation 3:12. Revelation 3:12. Revelation 3:12. Wale wanaoshinda nitawafanya wawe minara katika hekalu ya Mungu wangu hawatatoka humo kamwe pia nitaandika juu yao jina la Mungu wangu na jina la mji wa Mungu wangu yani Yerusalemu mpya mji ambaye utashuka kutoka juu mbinguni kwa Mungu kwa Mungu wangu tena nitaandika juu yao jina langu jipya amen. amen i will write the name of my god and the name of the city of my god and my new name and i'm going to make them pillars in the temple of my god and they shall not move from there bana yesu asifiwe utakuwa nguzo katika hekalu ya Mungu makao ya Mungu you will be a pillar utakuwa mtu wa kutambulika katika makao ya Mungu utajulikana katika makao ya Mungu majina la Mungu litakuwa limeandikwa juu yako kukutambulisha na Mungu mwenyewe na jina la mji ya Mungu lita andikwa juu yako kukutambulisha na hiyo makao ya Mungu. Alafu Yesu anasema nitaandika juu yake jina langu jipya. <laughs> Sasa hiyo jina ya Yesu jipya ukiniuliza ni gani I cannot tell you. Ni mambo ambaye iko na depth yake ambazo mingine tutaelewa tu wakati huo ambaye tutakuwa wakati huo ambaye tutakuwa tumefika mahali hapo praise the lord <clears throat> to be made a pillar in the temple of god and the name of god and the name of christ written in, written in him alafu ya mwisho eh, ufunuo 321 Revelation chapter 3 verse 21. <clears throat> hey, this is even very interesting. Wale wanaoshinda nitawaketisha pamoja na juu ya kiti changu cha enzi. Kama vile mimi mwenyewe nilivyoshinda, nikaketi pamoja na baba yangu juu ya kiti chake cha enzi. Amen. Eh? Nitawaketisha. <laughs> Imagine Yesu amekaa kwa kiti cha enzi. Na hiyo ni utawala universal. Alafu wewe kwa sababu umeshinda 
anakuketisha pamoja na yeye katika hiyo kiti chake cha enzi alafu tunajiuliza kwani hii kiti ni kubwaaje kwa sababu kama muturi atakaa hapo apewe nafasi na mimi nipewe nafasi na wewe upewe nafasi na wale wengine wape nafasi <laughs> how big is that seat amen but of course it is not just talking about seat the way you may think about it because the term seat iko na connotation zaidi ya tu kiti kama hii ambayo unaona kile anasema tu ni kwamba tutashiriki na yeye katika utawa tutashiriki na yeye katika utawala tutashiriki na yeye katika utawala eh hey, atatuketisha katika kiti chake cha enzi kama vile yeye alishinda na akaketishwa na baba yake kwa kiti chake cha <coughs> Yesu atakushirikisha katika utawala What a wonderful thing that is why the bible says i has not seen ear has not mind has not eh mind has not conceived I has not seen ear has not heard mambo ambaye Mungu amepanga kwa sababu ya wale watu ameita na kwa sababu ya wale watu anapenda amepanga mambo ndugu yangu ambaye at this juncture mawazo yako na mawazo yangu haiwezi kufathom it cannot fathom It cannot fathom. It cannot fathom the things that God has prepared for us. Praise the Lord. Nitasimama hapo nikisema ya kwamba the promises are many and they are wonderful. But I also want to say the fact that they are many and wonderful does not mean somebody will automatically realize them there are hindrances na katika tu hiyo hizo barua katika tu hizo barua katika hizo barua tu kwa makanisa kuna some of the hindrances that are, are, are mentioned ambaye hatuwezi kuingilia sasa kwa sababu ya, ma, ya masaa lakini moja yao ilikuwa ni kwamba you have lost your first what You have lost your first love. Umepoteza upendo wako wa kwanza. Na last time tuliona Yesu akisema because of wickedness the love of many will grow cold. Dunia inaendelea kuchacha. Mambo yanazidi kuchacha. Mambo inakuwa more confusing. Kuna fika mahali uwezi kujua white from black. Kujua katikati ya nyeupe na nyeusi inaendelea kuwa ngumu. Eh? Mahali unatarajia ya kwamba kuna mema na kuna haki, kuna dhuluma. Kuna mateso mahali ambapo mateso hastahili kuwa. Hiyo ndio kwa sababu Biblia inasema the love of many will do what? will grow cold. Kuna mtu tu ataona vile hali iko alafu atajiulize sasa nimeokoka kwa nini? Ninaenda kanisani kwa nini? Ninamtumikia Mungu kwa nini? Ile love ile love ya kwanza alikuwa naye ita ita grow what? It will grow cold. So there are hindrances. There are hindrances. There are just things that are there to hinder you. Praise the Lord. Wengine waliambiwa you are neither hot nor eh. Unajua kuna mtu ukiulizwa ukisimamisha waambie huyu mtu ameokoka. Wewe utachukua time kidogo. Utachukua time kidogo kabla uja confirm ati ameoko kwa sababu hata wewe anakuchanga anakuchanganya hmm? kuna kuna mtu unaweza kumwambia unaweza kuambia 
mwachie huyo hiyo pesa lakini wewe uta, utakuwa un- uncomfortable you will be uncomfortable because you don't know hii pesa nikiachia huyu mtu itakuwa salama na ujue ni mtu wa church atuongee juu ya mdo wako riaja atuongee mdo wako riaja tunaongea mdo wa haha deine mdo wa kanitha <laughs> neither hot nor cold si baridi na si moto si baridi na si moto na hiyo vuguvugu ndugu yangu inaweza kukuzuia so that is if vitu zote tunataja hapa utakosa utakosa eh praise the lord <coughs> first corinthians 10:12 first corinthians 10:12 Uh, I want to read that scripture and the final one. First Corinthians 10:12. Anai dhani amesimama imara ajihadari asifanye nini? Eh. Hebu tuseme hiyo sisi wote kama watu wa Sunday school 3:4. <laughs> Anai dhani amesimama imara ajihadari asianguke tena <laughs> anaye dhani amesimama imara ajihadari asifanye nini asianguke in other words we need to be very careful because unaweza kudhania umesimama na kumbe uko katika barabara ya kufanya nini barabara ya kuanguka Revelation 3:11 Revelation 3:11 <clears throat> That is our final verse Ufunuo 3:11 Naja kwako upesi Linda basi ulicho nacho sasa ili asije Usije ukanyang'anywa na mtu yeyote taji yako ya ushindi. Haleluya. Naja upesi. Linda basi ulicho nacho sasa. Ili usije ukanyang'anywa na mtu yeyote taji yako ya nini? Ya ushindi. Don't lose your crown hold on fast to what you have so that you don't lose your crown the possibility of losing your crown is there don't don't ignore that the possibility of losing your crown is there praise the lord baada ya kusikia hiyo ujumbe Ungependa kusema nini? Ungependa ku respond namna gani? Baada ya kupokea hiyo ujumbe ya <coughs> What was our title? What was our title? Munaandika kama title nyinyi. <laughs> Realizing God's heritage promises. Kuhisi, kupokea, kupata ahadi za urithi ambaye Mungu anatuandalia Bwana Yesu asifiwe na haiwezi kulinganishwa na anything na Biblia inazungumza juu ya mtu ambaye alikuwa anafanya biashara ya lulu eh business ya kuuza na kununua pal eh pal I've never seen a pal. I would want to see a pal. Na katika harakati zake ya hiyo kazi akakutana na moja. Zuri sana. Na alipokutana na hiyo akaamua zile zingine zote. 
atauza ili anunue hiyo mo hiyo moja so alienda kauza akauza hizo zote akauza zile alikuwa nazo ili anunue hiyo hii moja bana sifiwe bana yesu asifiwe ni kama yule pia aligundua ya kwamba kuna hazi na katika shamba na akamwata uza vitu zingine anunue ile shamba ndio ile hazina yote iko pale iwe yake praise the lord ikiwa hii heritage ni muhimu hivyo na ikiwa ni mzuri hivyo wewe ungependa kuipokea na kuirealize na kuifurahia eh edi kuuza zingine na kuachilia zingine ili tu upate hii hii ambaye tunapangiwa na Mungu amen amen this is the great pal hii ndio lulu ya thamani kuliko lulu zingine tusiache ulimwengu itubane na tukose hii lulu tusiache mambo mengine itubane na tuache hii lulu tushike hii na tutafute hii lulu na maisha yetu itakuwa sawa na hizo vitu zimetajwa hapa nimesema ni details tutazipa tutazipata praise the lord let's just stand my our time is up but i want to give you chance unajua ujumbe ukija kuna vile inaongea na mtu kuna vile inaongea na mtu worshipers mtakaa hapo tu kwa sababu ya time nataka tu kupatia watu muda <coughs> nataka kupatia watu muda umesikia nini na umepokea nini na una respond namna gani na unataka kusema nini hiyo ndio swali iko hapa na nafasi hii ambayo inapeana ni nafasi yako kufungua kinywa chako si si ukae tu si ukae kama kikingi hata kama tumesoma utafanywa apila this is not the time ya wewe kuwa kikingi hii ni wakati ya wewe kunena amen uko tayari i'm asking you are you ready are you ready to talk to the lord are you ready to speak to him about his word that we have received today praise the lord then let's let's speak to him just open your mouth and speak to him just open your mouth and speak to him be glorified oh god what a heritage that you have for us what great plans that you have for us at the end of the day and your word is saying that no eye has seen no ear has heard what you have for us your word is saying that no eye has seen not even any mind has, has conceived what you have for us we thank you we thank you we thank you because of your love for us we thank you because of your death on the cross we thank you because of your concern in our life we have a desire lord we have a desire oh lord we have a desire oh lord we have a desire that we are going to realize this heritage in the name of jesus tunataka kuhisi uridhi hii ambayo umetupangia bwana kusiwe na chochote litakayo tuzuia litakayo tuzuia litakayo tufanya tujikwae kusiwe na lolote katika mioyo yetu wewe Mungu tunaamua 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 kuendelea maana neno lako linasema atakaishinda atakaishinda atakaendelea mpaka mwisho atakayekutumikia bila kuwa baridi atakayekutumikia bila upendo wake kupoa ataweza kuhisi na ataweza kupata 
urithi ambao umetupangia asante Mungu wangu asante Mungu wetu asante kwa wema wako asante kwa wema wako asante kwa uzuri wako pokea ombi letu pokea ombi letu pokea ombi letu pokea ombi ya kila mmoja aliyenyenyekea mbele yako aliyekuja mbele yako ewe Mungu mkuu pokea ombi letu na kututendea mema ewe bwana tunakupa sifa tunakupa sifa tunakupa sifa may the lord hear your prayer and may the lord respond to your prayer and may the lord do great things in your life and may the lord empower you and may the lord be with you as you journey in life until you realize the heritage that he has planned for you we give glory to his name we give glory to his name in the name of jesus let's give him a hand of applause we give glory to his name we give glory to his name we give glory to his name tunaposimama mbele yako bwana watu walikuja kwa nyumba yako wakiwa na haja tofauti tofauti na hizi haja wewe unazijua na wewe unazifahamu kwa sababu ya kufika kwa nyumba yako naomba bwana kwamba utaona haja zao utashughulikia haja zao utawafungua kutokana na chochote kinachowazuia na kinachowafunga na wewe Mungu utawapa ushindi watafika mahali pa kufurahia urithi ambayo umetupangia katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini amen kabla hatujaketi wewe uko hapa tunaongea juu ya realizing God's heritage for us but you have not even given your life to him you have not given your life to him he has been talking to you maybe year after year get saved give your life to him you've never done that you can do that today you can do that today you can give over your life to him today you can be one of the people ambaye atapata na kuridhi yale ambaye tunazungumzia hapa kama uko hapa siku hii ya leo Mungu ameweka katika moyo wako ili uokoke na umpokee Bwana Yesu unaweza kuinua mkono kama uko hapa siku ya leo usi usi usiogope usi na pia usijidanganye kwa sababu ukitoka na uende na Biblia inasema usifanye moyo wako kuwa mgumu then things will not be good for you do we have somebody like that here who is saying yes i want to give my life to jesus today do we have somebody like that here it appears that we do not have or if we have they are not ready to humble themselves and to receive god's grace for today thank you lord thank you for the service thank you for what you are doing in us in jesus name we pray amen